Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. What are you? Well, I should say, what are your signs? I am a Sun Gemini, Moon and Cancer, and my rising, my ascendant sign is Scorpio. So yeah. So enough about astrology, let's get into food. Today I'll be sharing with you guys a what I eat in a day to get back on track from the holidays, the parties, the just not on schedule eating. I don't like to eat after 8, which definitely was happening a lot during December and at the end of November, just because of holiday parties and just family gatherings and things like that. And then also the amount of bread that I was eating was wild. Like I was just, my plates was full of great food, but it was all like just white carbs, even processed food. I just need to get back on track. My diet is a plant-based diet. I've been doing it for like a year and a half now. So I don't eat meat, dairy, or eggs. And when I say meat, I'm excluding seafood. I don't eat seafood like on a regular basis, but I will still have some type of seafood every now and then. I'm very particular though. Like salmon and shrimp are kind of like the only seafood that I would cook. But on your normal everyday basis, I'm eating a plant-based slash vegan meals. So yeah. During the summertime, I did intermittent fasting and I saw a tremendous change in my gut health. And I kind of want to get back onto my two meals a day intermittent fasting. So I kind of, I fell off on the two meals a day. Like I would have maybe my first meal like at 12, then my second meal or smaller snack meal like around three and then my final meal around seven. I want to get back to having my first meal around 12 and then my second meal around like six. I am preparing for 2019 summer. Vacations are already in the making. Today I'm sharing three meals with you guys. I'm doing a smoothie bowl. Sometimes I could call it a mud bowl because when you mix all those fruits and vegetables together, it just comes out a brown color like mud. So let's call it a mud bowl. My second meal was tofu scramble. And then my third meal was a kale and potato salad just filled with roasted vegetables and yummy goods. Let's hop into this what I eat in a day. So one of the first things I like to do in the morning is have a lemon and apple cider vinegar tea. So I'm just taking half a lemon and squeezing the juice into a cup. And then I'm going to add a shot of apple cider vinegar into that. And I just boiled some water in a kettle. And I'm just going to stir that all up and just head on to my room. So I like to drink this beverage while I'm doing my morning routine. And this morning, actually, I began to research honey calcite. My sister gifted me a crystal, and we just want to make sure it's honey calcite and not some other kind. So I'm going to show you guys what you guys think. So for my first meal of the day, I'm having a smoothie bowl, aka a mud bowl. So in my Nutribullet, I'm adding a small ripe banana, some frozen blueberries and strawberries, and a couple of frozen mango chunks as well. I'm going to add some MSM powder in there and some maca powder. And I'm also going to add a handful of kale. For my liquid, I'm going to add some almond milk and a splash of water. And to top this smoothie bowl off, I am going to add a handful of homemade granola and some pumpkin seeds. And it was so nice outside today, so I decided to eat it outside and enjoy the sun. So for my second meal of the day, I am having tofu scramble. In a saucepan, I have about one fourth cup of yellow onion cut up and I'm just water sauteing that until it is translucent. And then I'm taking a block of tofu and just breaking that up into crumbles with my hand. I'm going to add a splash of water to that and about one fourth cup of almond milk. 
I'm gonna season it with some onion powder, garlic powder, some turmeric, some black pepper, paprika, ground cumin, some nooch, and Himalayan pink salt. I'm gonna just let that simmer on medium to high heat. And once that's simmered for about six to seven minutes, I'm gonna add a handful of kale into this. At this point, the heat is off and I'm just letting the kale wilt up. At this point, I'm gonna taste to see if I would like to add anything else to it. And I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of vegan butter to it. And while that is melting up, I'm just taking a handful of grape tomatoes and cutting those in half to top off my tofu scramble. Now that my tofu scramble is done, I am just gonna plate it. And I actually heated up a cast iron skillet. I'm pretty sure this is the fajita skillet in the oven to keep my tofu scramble nice and warm. And I never mind cooking more than one serving because it's basically like meal prepping. So now I have tofu scramble for another day. So for my dinner, I'm having a kale and potato salad. I am just cubing two small sweet potatoes and one medium sized Yukon Go potato. And in a bowl, I'm gonna add the potatoes and one tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just gonna give that a good mixing with my hands. And I'm gonna season these potatoes with some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt and pepper. I'm gonna give that a good mixing with my hands as well. And on a baking sheet, I have lined it with parchment paper and I am just gonna lay out and spread out the potatoes evenly. The oven is heated to 400, and I am just gonna plop these into the oven for about 40 minutes. Now, while the potatoes are cooking, I cut up about five mini sweet peppers, and I'm cutting up half a red onion. And I'm just going to place these on another baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm going to season these with a little salt and pepper and garlic powder. And when the potatoes have about 20 minutes left to cook, I'm going to place the vegetables in the oven and let them roast for about 20 minutes. Now it's time to assemble my salad. I'm just starting off with a big bed of kale and I am going to massage some homemade ranch dressing into the kale with my hands to get the kale nice and tender. I'm gonna add about one fourth cup of cooked quinoa that I had milk prepped earlier this week. And I'm gonna add half an avocado. I'm gonna add 
those roasted potatoes. The roasted peppers and onions. I'm also going to add a handful of grape tomatoes as well. I'm going to drizzle a little bit more of the ranch on top. And I am done. This salad was so tasty and full of my favorite foods. Alright you guys, so that is it for this What I Eat in a Day video. I hope this inspired you to get back on track on your health and get ready for summer 2019. And if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!